Yeah, good people greetings okay first of all i will urge you wherever you're watching me from please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel you click on the subscription button and after that please uh, click on the notification bell so that anytime i post a video you'll be notified all right um the issue of uh vgme uh, i mean uh the um organization uh, who is behind uh, the award scheme uh, that uh, uh, normally awards uh, hard uh, working musician um, every year is an annual annual thing annual award scheme uh, that i would say is Ghana's grammy <laughs> let me put it that way we all will recall that i think in 2019 there was a scuffle or misunderstanding um, at uh, the event when uh, between these two great artists Shatawale and uh, Stoneboy where I think a gun was pulled on stage and because of that um, they had no option than to ban um, these two artists from their event um, so I think um, the issue even uh, went further uh, to the police where the two were invited by the police they were inv investigated and after that they were granted bail and i think the issue even went to court i don't know uh, the outcome of the court issue i don't know uh to, to date but um we saw in the news i think last week it was uh, trending all over uh, that uh, um the indefinite band uh, the management or the board of the vgma they have decided to lift that ban. So, yeah, uh, I think that was the news going around. So, I think yesterday on uh, Hits FM, uh, Andy Dusty, I think Andy Dusty was the uh, host, the normal, the usual host of uh, Hits FM, I think Daybreak program also. And uh, during um, uh, the, the program, he called the PRO of uh, Charterhouse. We know they are the main organizer of that VGMA Awards. And uh, he said, yes, the um, board have decided to lift that indefinite ban. So during that interview, they called Shata as well. So Shata, like, he came and, uh, you know, Shata as usual, he was throwing tantrums like they disrespected him. And uh, he's a big brand. So before they would lift the ban, they should have contacted him or stone boy actually i don't get this the whole thing but my my my, my point is simple people like charterhouse they are responsible or maybe they are the sponsors not, not the sponsors they are the organizers of that award and it's an award scheme that are the award musicians is not by force to be part of that award scheme if indeed you say you don't want to be part of the award scheme. It's up to you. So you can't say that they are the organizers. So if they said that they have banned you from their award scheme, I think, yes, it's up to them. Eh? It's up to them to whether, or it's up to you, let me put it to you, it's up to you to whether accept to be part of their war scheme. So it's not by force for them to contact you because it's their scheme. Like, I have my thing that I'm doing and that thing that I do, I think maybe I want to give you something. And if you don't want that thing, it's your own to choose. You have an option to choose whether I like it or I don't like it, you know? So you can't say that, yeah, I was part of it. You banned me. So if you are lifting the ban, you have to contact me. No, it doesn't work that way. I don't actually get the point Shata is making. The best is totally unnecessary, but I know the usual hype of Shata. But this one day, Shata, man, your outburst, I think, it doesn't hold up. It's baseless, honestly. It's baseless. It's totally hollow. Because I don't get your point. The point is, Shata House, they are the organizers, so if they have banned you from their awards and they say they have lifted the ban, it's up to you whether to decide to be part of the award scheme or not to be part of it. So they don't have 
um, nothing forces them or nothing is the, the what they did is not against any law like lifting the indefinite ban that they the organizers put on people that they award so you can't tell them that yes it's disrespect and you have office they have to contact you you have a big brand they too have the big brand that they are protecting that is the reason why they banned the two after causing that commotion you know what happened at that event caused them you will not know because they have sponsors as well so they too are a big brand they have been uh, around for quite a long time whether we like it or not yes they are the most recognized award scheme award um agency let me put it that way in in, in uh, 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 so, so so far as our music industry is concerned so if you don't want to be part of their scheme or don't want to be part of what they do the best thing to do you have your big brand as you can just oh i don't want to be part of charter house and no one will, will, will kill you or no one will, 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 will do you nobody can do you anything but telling them they have to inform you before they will leave the band, that is totally out of place. I will tell you straight. It's totally your hard best. I don't get it. Yesterday I was listening to the interview. I saw uh, that the news has been, uh, the news is all over, trending. Uh, but honestly speaking, I don't get your point. I don't get exactly what, no. Because you can choose. You have a big brand, so you can choose. Shut out, I don't need you. So please, in spite of lifting the indefinite ban, don't um, nominate any of my works in your award scheme. Simple as that. But you can't tell them or force Shatterhouse to uh, by force before they leave the ban is the matter. Wait here, I don't get your point. Your point is totally out of place. I'll say this. I don't care whether your fans will insult me. Yes, I know. Your fans, they are usually they come on social media and insult people. I care less. I don't even know you. So when you insult me, yeah, I'm, I'm sharing my thoughts. I'm speaking my mind. Like, Santa, um, the same way, you know. So, honestly, the outburst is totally out of place. I'll say this. It's not by force for Chatter House to include you. Uh, uh, by force for Charter House to beg you before they leave that indefinite uh, ban. It's their own option or their own choice. And it's their own, um, uh, I don't know how to put it. So let me end it here. So Shatawale's outburst over that indefinite um, uh, uh, ban that has been lifted is totally out of place it's baseless he's sharing his thought and i'm sharing my thought as well like he normally do i'm doing same hmm? yeah, and it's a man yeah and uh coloring book that one word we move but me get caught and self this i will beg of them tell me and stumble are grown we are businessmen that business from where you know if they can give us a share in that, we will also start a support this award. Otherwise, they want to um, um, uh, 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 it's, it's a shouty stock. It's like you guys have not taken us serious at all for all these years. Because if you want to take a decision like this, I am a big brand, for God's sake. I don't have to say this. I have an office, like my secretary as well. You have not written us no letter, and these are the mistakes they do. When I talk, then the people go back and they read meanings into this session that you're on board here. But I am a businessman. This is how businessmen talk. So if they feel, sir, they've taken their decision, one, I will tell them that they didn't make a mistake of bringing it out. Because lawyers can even sue them for that. Because this is still defamation of character. Like, they think they are playing with kids. And, and, and then, you see, it's so funny that most of us here artists know up to now, if you want to know 10 years, 8 years, and they still want to perform. What's going on? You can keep the move on, move on, perform. Yeah, I'm also big this kind of thing. You understand me? So nobody is even bold to speak like this. 